Hello, everybody. In this video, we're going to look at parallel and distributed computing, which is topic 4.3 of the AP CSP exam. We'll also go over eight practice MCQ questions. All right, let's get going. The foundation of AP computer science principles is that when you have a problem, you solve it with a computer. So it totally makes sense that if you have a giant problem, you solve it with multiple computers. AP Board has some essential knowledge and definitions and we'll go over those now with five real examples. So let's say we have Johnny drawn here with AI and Johnny needs to do math homework. Page one takes 10 minutes. Page two takes five minutes. Page three takes five minutes and page four takes one minute. Now, if Johnny is being honest, his homework will take 21 minutes to complete. 10 plus five plus five plus one. In computing terms, we're gonna call this sequential which means one at a time. And this is gonna be a slow way of doing things. Again, the term is sequential, which is one at a time, and it's slow. You have to know this term for the exam. Scenario two, now Johnny has two brains. Don't ask how he has two brains, just assume that it is. Johnny has two brains. With these two brains, the homework is still the same, but now he has two brains. So let's say brain one finishes in 15 minutes if it does pages one and two. Brain 2 finishes in 6 minutes if it does pages 3 and 4. But even though Brain 2 finishes earlier, Johnny can't be done with the homework until everything finishes. All four pages need to be done. This is an important concept. If you split stuff up, you are only as fast as your slowest brain, or in computer terms, your slowest process. We call this type of processing parallel. Parallel which means things get split up into pieces that run all at the same time. And this is generally a fast way of doing things. Parallel is fast. And when we do things in parallel, it means they're getting done simultaneously or at the same time. I could have also arranged the work differently and had brain one run page one and four and have brain two run pages two and three. And this will give me a new runtime of 11 minutes, which is faster than my other time of 15 minutes. This arranging of tasks on different computers is a common question that shows up on the AP exam. So you'll wanna know how to do this. The speed up, which is defined by the AP board as the sequential time divided by the parallel time is 1.9. And that's another term you'll need to know for the exam, the speed up. A higher speed up is going to be better. And that summarizes parallel computing. And again, being able to distribute jobs among different computers in an optimal way to reduce the runtime and increase the speed up is a very, very, very common type of problem on the AP exam. And we'll see it in the practice questions later. Scenario three. So now Johnny decides to cheat. Johnny gets his friend Zhang and they split up the homework. AP has an important term for when you get multiple computers involved, which is called distributed. And distributed means there's multiple computers, or in this case, people involved. Multiple computers. If you ask people who work in the field, they would also call this parallel because you split up the task, but it's not distributed until you have multiple computers. So scenario two was only parallel, not distributed because there's only one person or computer. This scenario or scenario three is distributed. And I think regular scientists would also call it parallel. So once again, we can find the optimal way to distribute the work among the computers, or in this case, people. We can calculate the optimal speed up and these are type of problems you see all the time on the AP exam. Scenario four. This time, Johnny's still cheating, but this time with four total people. Johnny, Zhang, Mustafa, and Naima. Again, we can only go as fast as the slowest process, so we can never finish this faster than whoever has page one is gonna be the slowest and will hold everybody else up. In a scenario like this, AP might ask you to calculate the total time or the speed up as before. One thing to note is that you can get diminishing returns. So you could add 10 times as many people, but you're not always gonna go 10 times as fast. This is a key concept on the AP exam. As you add more and more computers, your gains are gonna be a little bit less and a little bit less. You're gonna get diminishing returns. Scenario five. This is our most realistic scenario, which is when we have both sequential and parallel components to our workflow. So in this go around, we're a little bit more realistic with our times. We add in the time it takes to distribute the homework and to collect it. This is going to be our sequential portion of the work. Sequential because we can't speed it up 
by splitting up the work. We still have our parallel portion of the work, which is still something that takes 10 minutes long, the same as the last scenario. So our total time is the sequential time plus the parallel time, which is two minutes plus two minutes, that's sequential, and then 10 minutes of parallel time, giving us 14 minutes total. We can once again calculate the speed up, which is going to be slightly worse than it was before. Why? Because we have more sequential parts. So this kind of question right here, this is going to be the most realistic and most likely question you'll see on the AP exam, and you'll want to be able to solve it if you're taking the AP exam. So to summarize, you'll need to know about sequential computing, parallel computing, distributed computing, and speed up, those definitions. And there's a number of general concepts that you'll also potentially be asked about as well. On to the question. Question one, which computational model executes operations strictly one after the other? This one is pure definition and it's sequential computing. Remember, sequential is one at a time and it's slow. Parallel is when it's all at the same time and fast. Question two, a task takes three steps. The first is 10 seconds, second is 15, and the third is five seconds. What is the total time? So it says it's sequential. Remember, sequential is one at a time, one at a time and slow. To get the sequential time, we add all of these times together because they happen one after the other. So the answer is 10 plus 15 plus five, and that's 30. The answer is D. Question three, similar question, except now it's a mix of sequential and parallel components. So the sequential part is five seconds. Again, that's one at a time, and we can't speed that up. The parallel part is 12 seconds. Here you have to be careful with your constraints. It says you can do them all at the same time, but that's not always going to be the case. So you have to be careful there. On this type of question, be on the lookout for a certain number of processors. In this case, though, as I said, we can do them all at the same time. Remember, we have to wait for the slowest one, which is 12 seconds. So the parallel portion takes 12 seconds. So the full time is sequential plus parallel. That means five plus 12. The answer is 17 seconds A. Question four. Here it's a question about parallel theory and what limits the speed. For B, you can speed up the parallel process with more processors, but you can't do that with the sequential portion. So this question asks about fundamental limitations and that's sequential because sequential is not speed upable. Question five. This is purely a definition of speed up, but you might have to know it. Speed up is sequential time divided by the parallel time. That's 1000 seconds divided by 150 seconds, which is about 6.7 or answer B. Six. This is a question that's about parallel versus sequential computing. Remember, parallel jobs are split up and run on different processors all at the same time. So that's the answer we're looking for. D is a common misconception. If you have a computer, one computer with two processors, that's parallel computing because you can split up the job between two processors, but it's not distributed. Distributed means at least two computers, at least two computers. If you have two computers with one processor and you split up the job, that's also parallel because you split up the job and it's also distributed because you have two or more computers. Remember, distributed means two or more computers. So anyway, the answer here is B. Seven. This is a question about parallel optimization. In here, you have to be careful and pay attention to how many processors you have. So unlike the previous problem, which had unlimited processors, here we are limited to two. So you can't run everything all at once. If you split up the jobs, as we've shown here, this is a configuration that gives you the minimum or least time. You'll see that both processors take 26 seconds to do these two jobs. So that's how long the entire thing takes, because again, with parallel, you're limited by the slowest. But in this case, they're both 26 seconds. Last question. This is a similar problem, but slightly harder because now we have sequential components in addition to parallel components. Again, you got to be careful. Pay attention to how many processors there are. The sequential part. This will take eight seconds total, five seconds for downloading, three seconds for uploading, five plus three equals eight. Sequential is eight seconds. Then you have a parallel part and they're saying you get four processors. So each one of these processors takes one quarter of this 20 second job, which means that each processor will take five seconds to complete. So the parallel part takes five seconds. Again, total time is sequential time plus parallel time. That means eight seconds plus five seconds, which is 13 seconds. And so your answer is B. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.